What up, people? It's your boy Woody Triple Two coming at you with another pickup video, real quick. I don't know if this one's gonna be quick, but I'm gonna try to make it quick because I got a lot of shit to do today. Still wanna get outside and cut the grass. It's been lasting. The sun been up till like almost eight. So if I do this quick enough, I check my watch. I only got no watch on. So, but first, before we get into everything, I wanted to say. I I said in the past video I was going to show this shit off because I'm just, how do the people say it, over the moon for this thing? This is that vintage series um, TIE Fighter. This shit is dope, man, to me, and it's pretty big. Look at my hand. I mean, I just wanted to show this again out of the box because I'm really feeling this thing. I might have to get another one just so I can put it next to it on the shelf because it's all the way up top. It don't fit on any of the shelves I got in the, so I have to put it up on top, but just wanted to show this thing, man. This thing is dope and the wings pop off. I ain't gonna do all that because I'll probably break it or something like that, but I definitely wanted to show you guys this, you people, I'm sorry, you people this. Got the fighter and uh, TIE fighter pilot inside, man. This thing is dope for $55 or whatever I paid for that, I think. Definitely worth it. So today's haul, before I get into it, you saw my other video, I bought a bunch of Valor weapons. I got them all in here. I'm gonna get a new bin for them. I gotta say, man, these weapons are pretty dope. I'm not, I just never would have thought it. So I'm glad I gave them a chance. This Gatling gun is dope, all the best. I've been wanting this set since it came out because I like the colors. It reminds me of um, Iceberg. And they're no way soft whatsoever. So nice job on that, Valiverse. And I learned something about Valiverse, people, that you might not know. Your boy is in the mecca of action figure war. Hasbro's down the street about 10 minutes. Valiverse is up the street 20 minutes. In both in Rhode Island, I had no idea because I put a Valiverse order in yesterday. It already got shipped out this morning. It's on its way, so it'll be here tomorrow. That's crazy. It's coming from a town called Coventry, Rhode Island. 20 minutes from here, so I'm in the middle of like the East Coast, West Coast battle over here, but it's not rappers this time. It's action figure manufacturers. <laughs> But uh, anybody needs me to go knock on some doors, hit me up in the messages. Um, like I said, it's a half hour circle, so I can get to both places. I'm just playing. Don't come after me, Hasbro. Don't come banging on my door like I heard you did to some people. But all right, let's get into that. The weapons is good there aside. I got three pieces that I'm super excited about. I'm gonna save them till the end. Um, first off, let's get into this. I seen. Same time toys, I've been wanting this, but he bought it and I just had to pull the trigger after that. This casket, super action stuff, casket of cruelty. I definitely wanted this. I wanted it mainly for that eyeball effect or it looks like somebody's eyeballs getting shot out plus the blood. I've been wanting to do some blood in my scenes. I really didn't mess with it in the beginning because I'm doing it with my daughter, but now she's getting old enough I feel like so she can help me with this and she's very excited. I'm souped for the casket too because you can actually use the casket. I think a, a classified figure will fit in there. Let me see something real quick. Yup, seven inches. No roadblock or nothing like that, but I can definitely get a normal size figure in there. So I got that. Let me move these Valor weapons before they get knocked over. I can already see that happening. Uh, a couple Star Wars pickups, Vader for my shelf, BBTS haul, daily deal type situation. So I got this for my Vader shelf. Um, don't ask me. Like it started off as Sith and some Jedi and Stormtroopers. Now I'm buying five dollar Tuscan Raiders. I don't know. Five dollars. I mean. Five dollars. That's all I can say about that. I'm not even gonna look at it real quick. But um, 
Oh, I got some build a figure parts I needed in off eBay. So I needed this for my Tri Sentinel. It's a leg. Now I just need the right leg. Anybody got that? Hit me up. We can work out some trade. This is uh, Mr. Hyde. Finish that'll finish him off. It was crazy. The all the parts I needed was in one lot. No extra, no nothing for ten dollars. Not even seven dollars. It was ten dollars with shipping. So um it was just, you know, manifestation. Just the parts I needed. I needed two legs, one arm and a head. And I got the cane already, so just dope. And also I forgot I got the again. Everybody has forty million of them. If you're like me and hit up BBTS a lot, you have a lot of them stickers. Um, the last starting lineup I needed, I got Steph Curry, Pew. Hold on. I really don't like this dude as a player, but I needed him to complete. They're not making any more of these, so I had to get them all. <laughs> yep. Steph Curry. Curry with the J. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And then this, I haven't bought a McFarlane in a minute, but I got this on Amazon for nine dollars and something cent. And I like this movie. A lot of people are gonna hate on it and say woke this and woke that. I don't give a crap about none of that, man. Most people that use that word don't even know what the fucking word means. So, but I just I love black villains in the comic books. So. Black man is my man, I liked him. I don't know if he was really black in the beginning of comics and they changed it, I, I don't know, I don't care. I just know what I like and Black Mana is dope. I liked him in the first one. The second movie was kind of meh, but it was all right. I mean, it's nothing to win an Oscar or whatever those awards is called for movies, but. And I got a couple more retro Spider-Mans that I needed. Got the Ben Riley Spider-Man. Picked this up of eBay for 20 bucks. And then I got this one, Spider Armor Mark 1. I got this for like $14 on, off eBay, free shipping. So I don't really like it, <laughs> but I needed it to complete the line. The completionist in me needed this. So I'll pose it up and never touch it again, I'm sure. <laughs> certain figures I touch a lot because I like them so I'll repose them and stuff the figures I don't like they get one pose and then it's going to be a good pose but they ain't getting touched after that probably um, picked up a couple of these these are the different ones they don't have any electronics and they have the two two arms so I wanted to get four sentinels all together so I think it's the same head and pretty much the body, but the arms is different. So I got two of these to customize. So I'm gonna have to hit up Loki for two more heads for my Sentinel army that I'm trying to make. I am gonna, um, this summer, try to get me a HasLab Sentinel. I kind of decided I want one. I'm, I'm good with the Galactus. I don't really need that, but the Sentinel I want. So I know I'm gonna have to pay up for that. But that's not a big deal. I missed out on it three years ago when it came out, so I ain't mad at it. Hopefully I can keep it under around 500 foreign change. I definitely don't want to spend maybe 525, something like that I'll go up to. That'll be my max. So I know the toy store in Rhode Island got one. Maybe I can work out some bunch of trade stuff. I'll bring some stuff to trade. I gotta go through my bins and see what I got uh, on open. But um, let's see. Um, this part of the episode is for me and Tony from Legend Series. We're the only ones feeling these, so what I get? Five of them this week, bro, so this is for us. Triclops, New Eternia, Damage Box, Cheap Cheap, BBTS. It's all in there. I already checked, so Triclops. Princess Power, Leech, got him. These are all of BVTS. 
I don't think they would. They were daily deals at one point. And today's daily deals was kind of crap. They had like that. They keep putting that Nick Fury, Sam Jackson up there from that wave that's uh, peg warming at Walmart. They keep trying to put that. It's down to like $18. People ain't buying that. It's only six bucks off. Nobody's buying that. Sam Jackson, Nick Fury for that. So I got Leech. Uh, Revolution, Hordak. I think he opened him up yesterday on his live, but definitely got him. Need a Hordak. I don't know why you don't say Princess Power on it. He is from she -Ra. But I don't know. Maybe they did something on the cartoon. I never, I haven't watched it yet. Um, what did I get? Thunder Punch E Man. He opened him up yesterday too. So sorry, I said it was for you, Tony. But you have most of these already as of yesterday. So Thunder Punch E Man. I'm not gonna mind the caps as much as he does. I think it's cool because it kind of reminds me of um, when I was a kid. And then I know you definitely opened this dude yesterday when I went back and watched the replay. Cyclone, this is the one I'm I'm excited for. He's br brand new. Oh, so this is that entire wave. It must have just hit. Except the Triclops, which I got on a daily deal. These were just sitting in my pile of loot. Um, and I didn't get nothing for a week, so I was having the itchies. So I had to ship something. That's that. And then I got three more things that I'm, I'm really souped about. I'll save those two. I'll save these two for last. And I'll talk about this. Mezco Firefly. This is my second Mezco. I got the Destro. Still ain't opened my Destro yet. I've been saying I'm gonna open it for months. But now that I got the Firefly, I'm gonna open the Destro. And after this, maybe I might get that Storm Shadow, but I am just scared to death of getting a fingerprint on it or something. So I don't even know I might pass on that. It's just too white. It is like bleach, bleach white. So I'm, death, even the dust like sitting on a shelf, it just makes me nervous spending that much money on a figure and I feel like encase it in a bubble or something. So I probably won't get that, but we'll see what comes out. But this one, just like the Destro with the wrist effects, I'm souped for the, um, what do they call those things? Drone, the drone effects, how they looks like they're shooting out of the backpack. So definitely souped for this guy. I've seen reviews on him. He looks dope. So I can't wait to open him in like a year. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna open the Destro now that I got this. That was what I was waiting for. And then I did it, people. I popped my cherry on 5K. So I got two figures. I, I bought five, three of them with pre-order, but these two was in stock. So I'm souped. I'm probably gonna do a separate little video on these when I after I get them open and everything, just a quick like little five minute joint. And speaking of quick videos, the Alley Viper posing figures will be out later tonight I just gotta finish editing it and adding music I figured out how to add music so if you ain't checked out that posing figures series yet that I'm doing check it out because I did add music to the last one with the Cobra Bat that one got music in it so you don't hear the you don't hear that top of the line lazy Susan that I had to get from Amazon that everybody said it's amazing but it ain't <coughs> But anyway, back onto this Samurai Force Master. I seen this on Ninja's channel, man. This is that Master Splinter. So I can't wait to open this and pose this up, man. But the second I saw this, I was like, I gotta have that. That's what really, and then Tony kind of talked me into going on to 5K and I didn't even know what it was before uh, Ninja was talking about it. And then Tony kind of sold me on it after I figured out what it was and what kind of figures they got. And like I said, I'm starting to get into some animal figures, anapomorphic, I think it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but so I got that and I ordered, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I ordered. We'll just wait for them to show up and I'll put them in a video 
I think most of them weren't due till beginning of third quarter. So, Master Splinter, even though it's not, it's Samurai Force. <laughs> That's funny to me. The Turtles I was good on. I don't really want the Turtles. I like the Splinter. Just the hat was dope to me, how he can see through the hat. Oh, I'll tell you one thing I did on that panda. That panda's dope to me. So I'm gonna have like a little shelf with these. It's gonna be my most expensive shelf. <laughs> Cause I, don't, I forgot how much these were, but they're not no classified prices. 5K is no joke. And then I got this. I saw this on Ninja's channel as well. And I was like, I definitely want that. That Zeus, and I definitely want to get the Poseidon too, but they were, um, I just didn't pull the trigger on it. I might go back on there tonight or tomorrow and try to get that, those two together. I saw this posed up and it just sold me on it. So thank you, Ninja. Thank you, Tony, for putting your boy more in uh, spending my action figure allowance. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that real quick. I just... I've been blessed in my life, so I have, what's it called, disposable income right now. Like I said, one of my kids moved out. She's 22 years old. My other one is 10, gonna be 11 in a couple of months. So we're able to do a lot more than we um, was doing before. We were all about saving and everything. And plus before I was all on just GI Joe three and three quarters, so. I just want to say, you know, I'm not going into debt or nothing like that. This is, it's on a credit card, but I'm paying the shit off every month. I mean, and I'm getting points for this credit, all these purchases. So don't think your boy's going into debt or nothing like that to support this channel. I'm buying these whether or not I'm doing this anyway. So, and I am lucky. I'm almost a kept man, but I work. <laughs> but anyway, Zeus, that, that, that. Oh, and I wanted to talk about this real quick. I popped the... I'm not going to say pop the cherry again. That's weird, but I got one Valorverse figure. I like it. I kind of like it. I've been... Ever since this one came out, like I said, I just like the iceberg color combo. So I got this, and I learned a bunch of stuff. Like, this dude's my neighbor down here in Rhode Island, Bobby Valor. So that's cool. Hasbro and Valorverse in the same state. Like, what can I say? He gets no fought. Let me shut that off before that comes on randomly. It's almost been eight minutes, so. But I'm very happy with this. You know, I didn't not give it a chance, but I was just being stubborn. One of them people that said, you gotta be Joe or Valiverse. And I just looked inward and said, what am I doing? Like, if I like it, I should buy it. Fuck what anybody else says, or people are gonna judge me because I like Valiverse. I don't like every figure, don't get me, don't get it twisted, I mean, but I'm just going to cherry pick what I um, like. I bought some figures yesterday, like I said, they'll be here tomorrow, so I think this week, every day, it's going to be a friggin' video. Uh, it's not going to be weekly pickups, it's going to be daily pickups, because just because of that one week I didn't get nothing, I went crazy and bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> But I like the stands, man, and, and everything. There's the magazines go, everything has a place too. The only thing I don't really like is the helmets are hard to get back together when you like snap, change out the earpieces and all that, the headphones and stuff. But that's probably because I got big meaty callousy fingers. So from working with steel and metal all day, but I'm very happy with this. So if you were on the fence about Valiverse, man, let me tell you, just do it. Buy one, like I did. I bought one. I played with this all day yesterday. And I ain't. Then I went on there and bought like eight of them. Some more weapons packs. Like I said, the weapons, I'm really excited about the weapons. and the Because I just want the blast effects, man. Their blast effects is dope. I've been seeing them on um, people's videos and shit. And I like their blast effects. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. 20 minutes almost on the dot. Yo, Joe, or something to that effect. And I'll catch you.
tomorrow. Actually, I'll catch you tomorrow because I'm probably going to do another video. I got a new piece to the beginning of a new collection that I'm starting. I think I talked about it, but the first piece is here. And it's going to be, it's not a big collection, but it's going to be big pieces. So I'm really excited for that. And what else did I want to tell you? Something about, oh, Voltron people. If you couldn't find these Voltron pieces and stuff, I've been, I've been stopping every day after work this week. I'm going to stop and then that's it. I'm going to stop at, there's like three targets on my way home. Plus I gotta, I'm getting out late. I'm working 12 hour shifts this week. So I'm getting out late. I got to wait for the traffic to die down anyway. So I'm going to hit up some targets out near my job every day looking for them Voltrons. But if I don't find it, BBTS just put them up today on um, for pre-order. I think they had said third quarter, 110 for all five of them. So that's the same price as the Target because they're 20 bucks a piece for the um, four limbs. And then the big the black line is 30. So that's a buck 10. So don't fret. Don't go overpaying for these things or anything because BBTS is going to have them. They're up right now. As a matter of fact, me and Tony were on the BBS today at the same time because we... He texted me and I'm like, I'm already on here. I see it. <laughs> I was on my break at work. So uh, on that note, let me get out of here. Peace. See you tomorrow.